Most audio gear won't really change the sound unless you're changing settings. For example, if you have an EQ and you're not boosting or cutting anything, the input and output should sound the same. But some devices by design will have a really distinct effect on the sound. If we actually measure this, we can graph it on a frequency spectrum. This is the inherent effect that any piece of audio gear has on a sound, and it's called the frequency response. So with our EQ that isn't boosting or cutting anything, we'd have a flat frequency response. The signal that comes in will sound the same as the signal going out, which is good. We don't want to change the sound unless we're actually changing the settings. But more than any other type of gear, microphones each have a very distinct frequency response. And that's what gives each microphone its own sonic characteristics. So if you have a microphone that sounds really open and airy, the frequency response could look like this. You can see the boost in the high frequencies. It's like a built-in EQ curve to the microphone. And a lot of condensers have this kind of high frequency bump. Or with a large dynamic mic, you want to pick up the low frequencies of stuff like kick drums and bass guitars. So you can see why this kind of frequency response would help us get some extra punch in the low end. So each mic has its own sound and you can go see the frequency response of any microphone on the manufacturer website. But the frequency response can actually change with how far away you are from the mic. This interesting thing happens when you get really close to the diaphragm. The low frequencies get more pronounced. It gets bassier. So if you're right up on the mic, your voice is gonna sound boomier than if you're even a few inches away. This is called proximity effect. And it's the same for all directional mics. And if our normal frequency response looks like this, then this is what it would look like if you were super close to the mic. Of course, this is most important for singers and good ones will use mic technique to keep the right distance, depending on what they're singing. But if we need to boost the low end on something like a guitar amp, we could move the mic closer to the speaker. It's just something to be aware of as you're deciding where to put the mics on any instrument.